The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Smash TV is a futuristic game show where, instead of being incredibly humiliated by the smarmy host, contestants now get blown to pieces. A violent game show of the future where participants get killed in the pursuit of big, big prizes. That's entertainment, eh? Yep. Mass Slaughter sounds a lot more respectable and Mass Slaughter is exactly what you get in Smash TV. The aim of the game is to blast your way through three dangerous dungeons and devious arenas. Then confront the game show host to give him some of his own lethal medicine. You guide your contestant through a maze of rooms, each of which are filled with stuff that can really screw up your pursuit of riches. There are killer droids, tanks, bombs and minefields, all of which have been incorporated into your 46 lovely little rooms, nicely crammed into your Commodore 64. Each room is a single screen which seals you in until all the baddies have been blasted to smithereens. Along the way, and when you kill stuff, you pick up prizes. There are gift wrap TVs, money, gold, and bonuses that will give you extra lives or bombs or shields. Occasionally, a door will appear, tempting you into a bonus room with yet more prizes, but it is difficult to reach and you could die trying to win that speedboat. Yep, it's a game show after all, and at the end of each arena, all your winnings are totted up in a special screen, which is exceptionally satisfying and makes high scoring really good fun. Fans of the coin op will know all this, of course, so all I need to say now is that it's a great conversion from the arcade. I mean, check this out, the sheer numbers lead to pure mayhem. So many shoot em ups are too slow and dull. Smash TV just pours on the sprites by the dozen. It's non-stop action. And look out for those mines. As bullets spray the arena, you have no time to do anything other than keep firing. But you'll notice the fact that the game speed isn't affected, even with all the enemies on screen. It just keeps throwing more and more stuff at you. A stack of lives, nine to begin with, plus a continue play. Make for good long battles, and when you do finally go back to the start, you could try a different route through the arenas. Beginners can search for the fastest route, while experts will go for the bonus rooms. Needless to say, at the end of each arena, there's a super baddie to defeat, and just watch out for the spectacular death sequence. There is very little variation in gameplay. It's a rip-roaring shoot -em up action all the way and none the worse for it either. A well thought out learning curve makes sure you just keep coming back for more and it's very difficult to find any niggles. Expert gamers might find it a little easy I suppose, but even they will have great fun going for the high scores. This is one of the most playable coin-op conversions for the Commodore 64, with the enclosed arenas creating a claustrophobic atmosphere especially with all the enemies that pour out of the doors. Far from mindless blasting, Smash continually gets your mind whirring with options. Should I get that bonus weapon? Where's the best place to attack these new beasties from? Do I really need another pop-up toaster? Can I get that cash without hitting that mine? Dah! There's a wide range of baddies, all with their own attack patterns, and usually there's a couple of different types to worry about at the same time loads of them, yet the game just doesn't slow down. Surviving takes so much concentration that collecting prizes becomes just an afterthought, unless you're plain greedy like me. The price is right, so come on down and play Smash TV. Win or lose, with this much fun, everyone's a winner. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and let me know your thoughts about Smash TV in the comment section. As always, I'd like to say a massive thank you for watching this video, and if it's Commodore nostalgia that you crave, then please consider subscribing to the channel, where I'll be revisiting some absolutely classic retro titles that will hopefully bring back some good memories of your childhood with these games. In fact, there's another coming up right now, so stick around and I hope to see you there. Until then, 
Thanks again for staying retro and watching this video. Bye for now.